Military training can be very, very expensive. Inspire, a UK firm, 80% of them are all ex-military and the majority of those are pilots, 200,000 hours between them. Well, they've come up with a, a system here that they're offering internationally that dramatically cuts some of those costs. Here at the show, they've just confirmed a deal with Golden Eagle in Jordan. And we're going to talk to Chris Rains, who's sitting here in the new simulator, who's going to tell us a little bit about that. Chris, good morning and welcome morning. to Finn. Chris, tell us about the simulator and what you think you can offer some of these international air forces. So what we've developed is a device that hopes to bridge the gap between uh, the flat panel variant of simulators and the full motion simulators. We're trying to develop a cockpit which gives the pilot to air crew full immersion in the flying experience and tries to reduce the training burden of the real aircraft. And you're in uh, cooperation now with Jordan um, with Golden Eagle. Can you tell us about Golden Eagle and the deal you're doing with them? So Golden Eagle is a, a Jordanian aviation training academy that's looking to provide aviation training from basic all the way through to operational and it is partnered also with the Royal Jordanian Air Force. With um, Golden Eagle, will you be offering com commercial, um, you know, the, the civil training as well? Golden Eagle will be offering to provide a civilian training, but predominantly we're looking at the moment providing military training to international uh, countries. And if we could just talk about the simulator itself, I mean, it looks pretty impressive coming in here. What's it, what's it like to fly? And you've flown simulators as, as, as well as the real thing. How, how good is it? The, sim the simulator is, is very good, and it's able to provide basic all the way through to operational flying training. Um, it's a, a lot of the, uh, the intricacies of it are dependent upon the visuals that we are providing, and also, the, uh, as you can see, the cockpit layout. It is this, in particular instances, an Augusta Westland 109, and hopefully it gives full replication so that the air crew um, feel like they're in the real aircraft. And Chris, thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.